Another day, another uh, checking of what content is happening on my YouTube. Hmm. Let me look up what is the become Fumo community doing right now. Let's see. I'll set it today because. Huh? What? What is this? End of good times? What? What? Huh? Rope scheme that will make you bet day better. Wait a minute. Is this real? Don't tell me it's real. No, don't tell me. Is this a big deal? This is not a big deal. We got we got a uh, smoked barbecue fish. We Can got I go some inside? Fumo with the fumo what? side of Sorry, fumo we're combo. out of food. Please go to a No, can I get the fumo fumo fumo? Ah, uh, yummy. So Please, easy. why are you eating? Sucks. Can I have some? Ah! So that was a skit. <laughs> anyway, as of August 26, 2021, a video has been posted on YouTube that showcased become fumo as one of the games to make your day better. In the video with the same title uploaded by It's Funny, an 8 million subs Roblox YouTuber that aims their content audience to children. And it led to become FUMO, of course, gaining a peak of 400 plus players at that time the video has been out. So as I'm typing this script in this video, it's still in a stable 380 player count. Which is fine by me, I guess. Though what isn't fine for me, however, is was that the constant uh, gatekeeping from the community. Sure, it was small, and the fact that some people started to like bully the children with the gatekeeping and such. However, can you please like tone it down or rather stop it? It's kind of hurting to our reputation of the fandom. We don't want to be toxic around here in this uh, game. But honestly, why are you all gatekeeping in the first place? It's just a fun FUMO game. You just hang out. There's nothing wrong with that. You just sit there eat burgers or chat with people why the gatekeep so i can say my own opinion the part of the uh fandom of the it's funny fandom they're okay i guess though they start to act like childish and shit children are children there's nothing wrong with about that just let them do their thing or help them on how to switch their FUMO so that they won't be stuck for Reimu. Or even teach them how to use like the items or fish so they cannot get bored. Overall, this helped the newcomers. Even though I actually did have the part where they said that there's a birthday. However, they don't know who the hell is Denver. So yeah. By the way, happy birthday Denver.